Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And yesterday, after I posted the video of my part one 5G testing for T Mobile, a few of my contacts reached out to me and said that there would have to be another update pushed out to the speed test app itself to uh, get the uh, 5G icon going on the app itself. A lot of the people were telling me that the test yesterday was all LTE, it was fake, whatever the case may be. I know it wasn't, but I just needed that update to be pushed through. And as you can see now, that update is out. It came out about five minutes ago. So now the speed test app is also showing the 5G icon as the phone is showing it as well. But for, now, for some reason currently, I think it's all still early on and it's being tweaked. The speed test app itself is still going from 5G to LTE and back and forth. So we're gonna run a, a speed test right here at the office. So it's better than what it used to be. Um, if you guys have seen speed uh, previous speed tests of mine at the, at the house. So speeds have gotten better, but nothing crazy as what we've seen in the past or you know what we've seen on, on other 5G speed tests um, that are over 100 uh, megabits per second. So, but it is definitely better than what it was. Uh, and right now it's kind of like lunchtime-ish, so it's a bit more peak time where more people are out. But as you can see, as we are testing this, we are seeing the 5G icon on the speed test app now as well. As to yesterday, in part one, we were seeing um, LTE. And as you see now, just so you guys can see this live as I'm going through all these tests, it just switched over to LTE on the speed test app, but the phone itself is still displaying the 5G icon. So I think personally, as I'm going through these tests, I'm gonna have to do a part two, a part three, and then I'll label the, the updates as updates. So this right here is an update letting you guys know that it seems like they are still optimizing and tweaking it. Um, maybe, it, you know, speed test has to send out another update as well to get that fixed um, here in the future. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. I just wanted to drop this quick update, letting you guys know that there are some tweaks and improvements and optimizations made on both the, the app and then of course the network. I'm sure the engineers for the RAM team of T-Mobile are currently tweaking and optimizing the network. So as we go, as we go through that transition, I'll be taking you guys through that and we'll see what the improvements are like. I, as I mentioned in my video yesterday, I am noticing an increase on the, uh, on the tests compared to the iPhone. Now that could just be the, uh, the Qualcomm chipset is just better that much than the Intel one. So there are a few variables in that, but again, this is the second day that I have this device. So we will see throughout these next few days and weeks how this progresses and how much improvements we actually will see. And as you can see, the icon on the speed test app just switched back to 5G. So I just wanted this all live and raw uh, so you guys can see it happening. So that way you guys don't see any edits or anything like that. So let's see here. Okay, so. So the speeds, although the icon changed, the speeds are similar to what we saw when the icon and the app switched to LTE. So may, I don't think it, it had any difference. Although the icon switched, I don't think it, it actually switched off of the NR. So I think the phone itself currently may be a bit more accurate than the actual speed test app. So again, leave all your comments in the comment section down below. Maybe you got the OnePlus uh, 5G or the Note 10 5G. Let me know what your experience has been this far. If you've seen any increases, the 20 to 50% range that T-Mobile is claiming, they are saying that you can see that type of increase. I say, if you are in an area that had already good LTE, if you saw 200 to 250 on an LTE device, you're gonna see the same on this 5G device and maybe a bit faster, that 20% that that T-Mobile has been discussing. So definitely stay tuned to the channel, like, share, subscribe if you're new to it. 
Also follow all of the Tech Life social media outlets for more updates. And this is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.